Welcome to day 46 of our Lockdown Diaries. Today uh, I've been noticing that there is quite a bit of discussion on websites, uh, forums, uh, to do with subwoofers and people asking about uh, various things to do with subwoofers. And one of them that came up uh, on the RHEL forum was people talking about what does the speed of a subwoofer mean. And it got me to thinking about how I could explain this to people because it is very, very important. So here's the background to this question about subwoofers. We know that uh, sound travels at uh, 343 meters per second at 20 degrees C. It's a little bit faster as you go up in temperature, 40 degrees C, I think it's something like 355 meters a second. So if the sound is traveling at that speed and you delay the sound that is going into your subwoofer by, let's say, um, something by 10 milliseconds. Well, in 10 milliseconds, that sound is going to be 0.34 of a meter behind the sound that went at zero milliseconds. So each millisecond, you've got quite a large amount of uh, length of time, if you think, of a waveform. Now, why I mention this in milliseconds? Well, if you look at uh, 33 hertz, which is pretty close to low C uh, in terms of your musical scale, low C is 32.7 hertz. So if you look at 33 hertz, that waveform is over 10 meters long. 10.75758 meters to be precise. So if you have a delay to that signal by a very short amount of milliseconds, you can see that you're actually delaying that waveform quite a large part of its actual waveform. Um, to give you an idea, F just above C, uh, is 43.6 hertz. So take that same equation and um, there you can see that you, if you create a delay, you are delaying that signal by quite a large distance. And that that distance varies with temperature as well because of the speed of sound varying. So if you've wondered about why your stereo might sound a bit um, lacking in pace and, and uh, pitch, on a cold day in the middle of winter, it's often because the sound is traveling at a different speed and you're also probably in a different uh, mental space and emotional space at a colder temperature. There's a lot of different things. Circuits don't work as well. Surrounds of speakers are stiffer at lower temperatures. I think you're getting to understand the picture now that there are a lot of factors all meshing in together here and they're all interacting. So back to our thing about subwoofers. I remember a designer telling me a few years ago that most subwoofers, when you put a signal into them and then you measured that signal out and you timed it, what's called the group delay, uh, you got quite a large difference. So in other words, the circuit, the amplifier, the filter, it all took time to let that signal through. Now, take subwoofers that have room correction built into them. The room correction has to do a calculation to correct the signal to allow for reflections in the room. In fact, it doesn't just do one calculation. It does thousands of calculations because it's calculating all the different frequencies within the band that it's designed for and the boundaries, height, width, length of the room. So it's doing a lot of calculations. There's a lot of processing there. Now, one of the engineers uh, told me that when they were measuring very well-regarded subs that used room correction, they were measuring delays of something like 115 to 120 milliseconds for it to process a signal. Now, if your subwoofer is 133 milliseconds or 120 milliseconds, whatever it is, uh, that it's delaying the signal. And you can see that uh, you're traveling 0.34 of a meter per millisecond. <laughs> You've suddenly totally fouled up your 33 hertz uh, waveform 
uh, by delaying it that amount of time in comparison to what is coming through your main speakers. So let's assume that your main speakers are reproducing at this point in time and your subwoofer is so much behind that, but it's putting out the same signal. Those two signals are not in sync. They are out of phase completely by a large amount. Now this engineer explained to me this way. He said, if you wanted to get that slow subwoofer to time in with your main speakers, it would be illustrated this way. If you were standing at the end of a rugby field and you put the slow speaker right next to you, your main speakers would have to be at the try line at the other end of the rugby field for them to be in time. So you put a signal into your main speakers, so much delay would take place that the subwoof would have to be at the other end of the rugby field for it to be in time with the sound coming out of your speakers. That gives you an idea just how important timing is, particularly with subwoofers. I mention this because when you're trying to tune a subwoofer in, RHEL state that their T-series subwoofer, their most entry-level one, the TI series, have a delay of 15 milliseconds or less than 15 milliseconds. Their S series is less than 8 milliseconds and their flagship series, the reference series like the G1 and the uh, number 25, are 4 milliseconds. So they are very, very much faster and therefore there is less delay between the signal coming out of your main speakers and the sound coming out of the subwoofer. So that's vitally important if you're wanting to get everything in time, all working together and boogieing, making music, rather than it sounding all messy and sloppy and out of time and just blobby. So that's our little primer for today. I was going to show a chart on the wall uh, on the whiteboard, but I thought actually it's just as easy to explain this without graphics because trying to visualize what we're talking about is probably um, not aided in this case by a diagram. So anyway, we're going to listen to a bit of music. Hopefully I've got my microphone sorted out a bit better than the other day. I uh, had a lot of problems with uh, this new laptop that I've got, that it's got a built-in microphone array, and it does what's called spatial sound. In other words, it totally cocks up the sound. It sounds blimmin' awful. Uh, so now I've disabled all of that and I'll plug in my decent microphones and we'll have a bit of music. Thank you. 